Oh, this? They're just my new shin pads. When I play football, I'm usually playing in defence or whether it's centre back or as a fullback position. I liken myself to a Serge Ramos, David Alaba type of player. Who? So if I'm finding to tackles or on the receiving end, I don't like to take shortcuts when it comes to protection. And that's why in this video we'll be reviewing the Smart Armour Pro S1 shin pads. And these just might be the strongest shin pads in the world. So for those who don't know, Smart Armour are a relatively new brand. They've only been around for maybe a short period of time, but even though they've been here for a short period of time, they've actually made quite an impact already. So their products have already been used in the Premier League by the likes of Wolford and Didi, Che Adams and Sherry Holland as well. Now the shin pads come in some quite premium packaging. They come in this kind of luxurious box, if you would say. And then inside the box, you'll come with this kind of little fabric drawstring bag, which inside will have leg sleeves, which I will unfold now. So leg sleeves here. And these are there to hold your chimpanzees in place when you're playing football. Now the question in everyone's mind is how can something so flimsy actually act as a shin pad. Well I'll tell you. So these shin pads are actually made from a special material that was actually under development at NASA at one point and it's called Rion. Rion is made from a non-Antonian polymer which has shear thickening properties. <laughs> Hello there, I'm your friendly neighborhood material scientist, Chris. You probably just heard Sub say the word non-Antonian fluid with shear thickening properties. Now, if you don't understand what that means, don't worry, I'm here to explain. First of all, a non internal fluid is a fluid that doesn't obey Newton's law of viscoelasticity. And for the shear thickening part, what that basically means in its natural state is soft, flimsy, and flexible, like the shimpas as you saw. And when they get hit with enough force or kinetic force, should I say, that means they start to harden. And if that still doesn't make sense to you, check out this demonstration of the shimpas in action. Um, okay, whatever that was. Um, so anyway, back to the shin pads. As you can see, they're a bit of a weird shape. They don't have like the normal kind of curvature that a regular shin pad would have, for example. And that's because the creators of the shin pad have taken several 3D scans of professional footballers, male and female, to create a shin pad that is anatomically built to suit your leg. So here, you kind of kind of see this bump or like kind of weird curvature, and that's to replicate the mold or the shape of your shin. So this point here, you, as you can see, is on your shin. It would be covering your, what is known as your tibialis anterior, which is basically your shin muscle. And that's probably the reason why you see a lot of footballers kind of mess about with shin pads when they wear like really small shin pads that really offer zero protection. So I'm looking at you Memphis Depay and Jack Grealish. So this shin pad, as you can see, is pretty much, it's not small and it's not too big, but it's big enough to cover your entire shin. And the reason why, maybe if you're wondering why they've chosen hexagon shapes is because hexagons are shown to be the best in terms of like impact protection and in terms of stability as well. Now on the inside, you only have this kind of very thin fabric and there's a very good reason for that. So with regular shin pads, sometimes you have that kind of like foam here. So foam is good, it kind of molds to your leg, but at the same time, it can be sometimes a bit bulky and thick as well as in warmer conditions when you're playing, you kind of build up a lot of sweat that gets absorbed into here and it can be quite insulating as well so sometimes it gets a bit uncomfortable. With this here you have this like very thin fabric here which is very breathable and you have no issues in terms of like taking up too much sweat when you play. And like I said earlier they are anatomically built so you have your left and you have your right and a very important thing that people do not realize about shin pads is that they classify as a type of PPE. So they're called second grade PPE sorry to bring back the COVID kind of PTSD some people might still have but yeah PPE. And because of this, and because it's like a protective product as well, it has to go through some kind of rigorous testing to make it sure it's suitable for use. So on the inside of the shin pads, you can actually see it's got a few certifications. So that CE shows that it's been certified by European standards and tested by European standards, and it's a safe product to use. Now, I see also if you go on the website, it has the kind of North American equivalent, which I think is called Noxy. So if you ever see kind of shin pads without this kind of CE certification or any kind of certification to show it's been tested, it's kind of illegal to be sold and it's probably not the best thing to use. When it comes to sizing, there's only pretty much one size at the moment for these as they're still relatively new. 
Um, so it's actually written on the inside. So um, I'll probably put a picture on screen, but here it is. It says 140 centimeters to 185 centimeters. So, so these shin pads will suit and fit most people. And like I said before, they cover your entire shin. So your whole shin is protected. Now, when it comes to comfort, I can't really give these a score when it comes to comfort because it's like almost they're invisible when you're playing. Like they're ridiculously light, but they're not as light as maybe some other shin pads on the market. But maybe because of the way they're like anatomically built, the 3D scans and how they kind of mirror the shape of your leg when you actually put them on, it almost feels like you're putting on like a second layer of skin. Like literally when you're playing in them, it feels like there's nothing on your legs. It's quite unique. And even as you play, because of like the heat that you generate from your legs, these kind of maybe shape even more to your legs and it gets more comfortable, which is makes no sense, but like it somehow does. And like I said before, because it doesn't have foam, it's not insulating, it has this thin breathable mesh or fabric here. There's no kind of build up of sweat, it's very breathable. So there's no kind of, you know, moving your shin pads about while you're playing, adjust them, whatever, because you don't have that kind of discomfort. It's like, you don't necessarily realize that you're even wearing shin pads at certain points. I, I know I keep saying that, but like, that's the best way I can actually put it. So stability wise, you're pretty much secure. Like I said before, they come with a pair of leg sleeves with like that kind of little kangaroo pouch where you just put your shin pads and they're not going to move about when you're playing. So you have no worries there. Or if you don't want to use these, you could use something else. You know, there's other solutions. There's like tape, of course, there's grip strips. There's a whole host of things you can do to keep your shin pads in place rather than using a pair of leg sleeves if you don't want to. But these leg sleeves actually came with them. They're not actually too tight. Then again, I don't have um, Grealish's legs, so um, maybe I'm lucky in that sense. Um, but anyway, there's still a good option to have the leg sleeves. Now, like I said, these are a one of a kind thing on the market in terms of like the technology. The technology is actually patented as well. So that means the likes of Nike, Puma, Adidas, they can't get a hold of this kind of technology for at least 15 to 20 years because of that pattern. So Smart Armour is the only place you can find these kind of shin pads. And because of the kind of like material science and the research that's gone into this, these are specifically made for professional footballers, you know, um, like most kind of football products are they aimed towards the elites and these shin pads are no different as opposed to the ones on the market that are just built to kind of just do a job and this shin pad is not just like from a brand it's actually had the input of medical doctors that actually work for football teams as well so all those things put together these will cost you around 100 pounds and they're available on pro direct or the smart armor website if you're interested in a pair go down to the link in the description and then you can pick some up for yourself also have a read through the website there's actually a lot of like interesting information and kind of reviews of the shin pad as well so like i've not really seen professional footballers give um, reviews of a shin pad until now on that website so yeah go check it out even if you're maybe not interested in buying a pair maybe it'll sway you towards buying a pair but who knows go check out the website and just to summarize when it comes to the smart armor shin pads they're light they're thin they're flexible they're extremely comfortable and they're extremely durable i probably should have mentioned this earlier they've been tested for over 1000 well it's not even well out sorry 10,000 life-changing conditions so you're not going to get a more durable shin pad than this on top of that they come with like some excellent packaging probably the best i've ever seen for a pair of shin pads they come with like the leg sleeves and the, even a little kind of like drawstring back to keep your shin pads in as well however the one con i do have with these is got to be the price you know our 100 pounds they are quite pricey on price a lot of people are but these are meant for the elite pros of the game so maybe it's not in your price range that's completely fine if it is why not you know smart armor also offer a money back guarantee if you're not satisfied with the product as well so you know and not a lot of shimpas are gonna offer you that kind of guarantee but they are so interested in this product and so am i bro was really enjoying this is probably the most unique shimpad i've ever tried or ever seen overall 150 percent they get the substance seal of approval <laughs> And that's been it for the video, guys. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in a pair for yourself, the link is in the description, so go check it out. And like I said, at the end of all my videos, if you thought the video was sublime, like the video, if you thought it was so poor, tell me why. I'm always looking to improve. And if you're interested in football gear, so boots, kits, all that kind of jazz, I make videos around that topic. I release something every single day. I release like long form videos every Monday or Friday, or at least try to. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to follow me on all my socials. I'm on TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. And like always, my name is Sub. This has been Substance Thank you for watching. Peace out.